going on, everybody? Hey, you guys. Welcome back to East Africa with Willie and Rachel. We're super excited to be sitting with you again. Absolutely. Hallelujah. So, Rach, we're continuing to talk about victory. Mm -hmm. And we read some definitions of victory. And, that, and the very definition of victory uh, in the English language uh, comes from the term of actually winning a battle. Yeah. Of uh, pressing against something and winning something, praise God. And it's so important for, especially in today's world, uh, we're having this Christianese mm -hmm. type of culture to where uh, you just kind of live your life and then you go to church once a week. Uh, you don't really seek God's plan for your life. Right. You just go to heaven someday. That is not a scriptural plan mm -hmm. for Christianity. That is not a scriptural plan for having relationship with God. Having relationship with God is His power in your life. It's His plan in your yeah, life. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's, it's literally the, the, the mind of Christ on the inside mm -hmm. of you and Him directing you day by day. And that's, that's some weighty stuff. Absolutely. That's some heavier stuff. Yeah. You have a lot of people now who are like, they're like, yeah, you know, I fear, I fear the Lord. When they're actually they're saying that they're scared of God. Right. Like you have these different things, these these twistings of Scripture, and, and it, it creates Rachel a sense of non irresponsibility, mm -hmm. where people do, don't have any responsibility in their own life. Mm. They pray, Lord, give me victory, and then they go on about their life. Mm -hmm. And and God's not about that. He's about getting acquainted with you, you getting acquainted with Him, to where you start to know His will. And then you start to know what you're resisting and what you're submitting to. Again, uh, James chapter 4, verse 7, James says, Resist, submit to God, yeah. resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen. Most people are submitting to God and submitting to the devil. They're not resisting anything. Mm -mm. They're just like, Lord, let your will be done. And then saying, mm -hmm. if something bad happens, saying, well, God did this for a reason. That's a lie. That's a lie from Satan. Mm -hmm. If you do, don't want the devil's plan to come to pass in your life, you're going to have to resist it. Yeah. You're going to have to press against 100%. it. 100%. And <clears throat> let me show, let me, I want to bring this out really quickly. Yeah. You mentioned this scripture, which is so powerful. Paul's journey from, because you cannot define, sorry, you can't define Victory, victory. yeah, and, and a lot of people would define victory as lack of opposition. That's not mm -hmm. it. Paul was in prison, and he begins a voyage to Rome as a prisoner. Yeah, they get shipwrecked on the island of Malta, and you you follow this story, and you see that Paul was consistently, although he had things pressing against him, was walking in victory. And I want to show you this. Bring this one story out, Rach. This is Acts twenty-eight. They're, they just shipwrecked on Malta, this island Malta, which is still called Malta today, actually. <laughs> um, and it says in verse 3, But when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, a viper came out because of the heat and fastened on his hand. So it bit him, but it didn't let go. So when the natives saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, No doubt this man is a murderer whom, though he has escaped the sea, yet justice does not allow him to live. But he shook off the creature into the fire. In other words, he held it over the fire where it started to kind of roast it and it let go. And he suffered no harm. However, they were expecting that he would swell up or suddenly fall mm -hmm. down dead. So they knew that this was a poisonous snake. Right, and they most were people natives. know, like, yes. wherever you live, if mm -hmm. there are snakes, you know which ones are poisonous. Yes, and especially back then when they lived out more yeah. in that uh, Absolutely. indigenous for surroundings. Yeah? Is that the right Yeah, story? I mean, same in yeah. Africa. People know what the black mambo is. Yeah, 100%. If you look at India, you know what a cobra is. Yeah, we, we know what a rattlesnake we is. When we know? were finding uh, snakes in our compound here in Africa, yeah. what did we do? We searched about, are these poisonous? And yep. we found out those ones were not. So. Right. Uh, but these natives knew it was. And so they were waiting for him to die, and they said, this is justice. This right. is the, the condemnation of the Lord, basically, yeah. right? Of whatever God mm -hmm. they served or whatever they thought, oh, yeah. you know, they have... This thought pattern, which amazingly a lot of people do, if something bad happens, they're kind of like, oh, well that, you know, exactly. maybe you have sin in your life. They were just going with circumstance. Yeah. They saw something bad happen to Paul, mm -hmm. and they immediately said, this is God. Yeah. This is justice. He did something bad. This is because sin in his life. Uh -huh. Look at this terminology. that They're doing the exact same thing you see Christians do today. Yeah. Christians view a circumstance and then they write their theology based on the circumstance. And they say, this must be God. Or I've seen 
I've seen uh, horrible things, like a child die. Yeah. And I've heard, I've seen demonic, yeah. demonic explanations. Uh, explanations for it and say, well, God needed that baby in heaven. That is yeah. so stupid. That is so harmful yeah. to a young family to hear That's stuff horrible. like that. That's horrible. It's demonic, praise God. God didn't do that. God doesn't no. kill people. No. Just boom, and kill people and then say, I needed them in heaven. That's yeah. disgusting. And what I love about this example mm -hmm. that proves exactly what you're saying mm -hmm. is that Paul probably the greatest apostle to ever walk the face of the earth, was shipwrecked and almost died and was bitten by a snake and almost died and none of it was God. No, listen to this, verse five. But he shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. However, they were expecting that he would swell up and suddenly fall down dead. But after they had looked for a long time, <laughs> Long time they were watching they him. They staring him. And saw no harm come to him. They changed their minds and said that he was a god. <laughs> now listen, this is the same I thing yeah. that you see Christians doing today. Yeah. If good happens, like if there's some type of good, like this is why you look at um, certain uh, uh, famous people, mm -hmm. and it's so hard for so many Christianese type believers to say that person is not a godly person. Mm -hmm. Like. It's, you're not you're not cursing like them in the sense of you hate them or something, yeah. but it's easy to look at them. Yeah. They're, if they're living a life of sin, they're living a life of immorality. To say it's wrong, absolutely. But a lot of Christians have said, "Oh, but he's a good person," and this and this. Yeah. And, and it's wait a second. They're doing the same thing mm -hmm. that these people on Malta were doing. When something bad happens, it's God. Mm -hmm. Something good happens, it's God. Neither one of them. God didn't curse Paul. No. And guess what? God hadn't just decided to heal Paul. Right. Paul didn't ask God to heal him. Paul knew who he was in Christ. Mm -hmm. He stood against that opposition and saw victory. Yeah. And Paul never one time during all of this that's going on, and Paul faced probably the most opposition mm -hmm. ever mm -hmm. that we read about, and he was undeterred by that. You don't hear him or hear in his writings that he's like, God must be upset with me right now, or God is doing this to strengthen me in no. my challenges. I know. Oh, I've heard that God so many is. times from missionaries. Yeah. I've seen stories just like this happen to missionaries, and they say, God just did this to me to strengthen me. Maybe they weren't bit by a snake, but they, like we talked about in the last mm -hmm. broadcast, they've been robbed. robbed they've been where we got robbed. Yeah. It, it, same thing. We got robbed, but guess what? We didn't start saying, we didn't act like the people on Malta and start yeah. saying, well, this was God, right. and he's done this for some. No, we said this was Satan. Yeah. This was the devil persecuting us, coming against mm -hmm. us, trying to get us to yeah. quit. But we pressed in and saw victory, yeah. overcame, and we have way more than we ever had back before we Amen. were stolen from the stuff. Amen. And Paul walked in victory, and then guess what? Because he walks in victory. I'll fast forward through the rest of the story. Do it. But he goes in, lays his hand on the ruler of that land, yeah. like the governor of that land, and then people, other people start coming yeah. in, and he starts healing them. Yeah. You see this power yeah. come from Paul because he was could not be lied to about what was God and what was not God. Mm -hmm. And he knew that victory was coming about in his life, but he would have opposition. Yeah. He didn't get rocked, Rachel, when he no, knew that he had to stand and Not fight only that, for the he took that opposition Come on. a chance to win a victory. Hallelujah. And he overcame and overcame. And I guarantee you, in that, he grew. Yeah. He did grow mm -hmm. in strength. His faith increased. Yeah. And when he faced something, he was unafraid of it. Man, but you have so many believers today. And I know I'm being a bit rough here, praise God, but I'm trying to shake some truth into us. Hallelujah. India. Yeah. Is we have so many believers right now when opposition comes, they want to go find somewhere to lay down. Yeah. And just say, Lord, give me victory. And because, again, they don't realize that victory comes from pushing against the opposition, yeah. pressing into the fulfillment of yeah. that promise. P uh, Paul knew that, that Jesus had come to heal his body, that he would give him protection. And when that opposition came, he pushed it, pushed it against that, shook yeah. that shake, that snake off into the fire and said, no, I will not be defeated by this. I will walk out this promise. I will see victory. And then, but you see these non-believers and that these definitions should, should come from non-believers. They were saying, well, this is justice. Well, this is God. None of their definitions were right. No. But the sad thing is you see a lot of the church yeah. talking like the people who are on well, we know that Go Paul, read this. This is Acts 28. Paul Go read that. Praise and God. we love you guys. You're overcomers as well. Amen. So send us your prayer requests on WhatsApp. We would love to hear from you guys and be blessed.